Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If you're looking for accounting financial software, you're in the right place. We're going to review Odoo and we're going to review QuickBooks and see which one is the better piece for you. So let's dive in. So starting out here in Odoo, you can see that they have quite a bit to offer. Now, let's jump straight into what they actually have to offer. So you can see over here that from a basic website all the way to an e-commerce store, e-learning, or even a live chat platform, you can get with Odoo. You can also see that there are a number of different sales channels, including invoicing, signing digitally, a point of sale system, and specific industry apps such as restaurants or rentals or even field service. They also have a couple operational apps including accounting which in actual fact is the app that we would be comparing with QuickBooks and you also can see there's a bunch others. We also have some manufacturing apps, some marketing apps, human resources apps and then we have the Odoo Studio. Now, this all does come at a price. So if we go into pricing for Odoo, you'll see that you can have one app with unlimited users and the Odoo online experience or for absolutely free. And this is free forever, but that only limits you to one single app. So if you are looking to use multiple apps, you will have to upgrade to the standard plan, which is $13.50. You get access to all of the apps you also get access to that Odoo online. However, if you want to use the Odoo Studio and the multi-company, so if you are managing more than one company, as well as the external API, you will have to go in for the custom package, which is $20.40. Now, that doesn't really sound like a lot, given that there literally is an unlimited amount of apps that you can integrate into your business and really make a difference. Let's jump into QuickBooks and see what they have to offer. Now, QuickBooks does specifically focus on being an accounting application. So if you want to manage your accounting, such as creating invoices, recording your expenses, you can see over here, there's a list of other things that you can actually do here. So you can build receipts, bank deposits, transfers, journal entries, and a bunch more. Now, they are both very easy platforms to use. However, QuickBooks is more suited for a small business and really should be kept kind of simple. Having a look at QuickBooks pricing and you can start right over here with the simple start plan and you can see that you get a bunch of awesome features and this price over here equates to a dollar 46 now it's really quite a difference between the 1350 on your standard plan over here compared to a dollar 50 over here however if you're jumping up to sort of a bigger price plan you can have a look at 5462 and if you have a look at 5462 it's about three dollars which again is really not that much if you want that advanced plan, you're looking at about 1,092 Rand, which will give you a total of $60 more or less given the exchange rate at the time. Now you can see that you get a bunch more features and pretty much be able to customize your experience within QuickBooks. So if you have the need for more than one app, such as a CRM, point of sale, accounting, and a bunch of other apps, Odoo probably is a better option for you, even with a price of $13.50, you can have quite a grand experience. If you're looking for simple, basic, straightforward accounting software, QuickBooks might be a better option for you. With its super low prices, you can actually jump straight in and its easy to use user interface will allow you to be able to manage your finances quickly and pretty easily. If this guide was helpful, you can go ahead and drop us a like. We'll see you in another awesome video. Peace.